A few weeks back, a unanimous ruling by the North Dakota Supreme Court sided with the Wilkinson family. It's a case we've been following for years involving mineral rights on land taken for the construction of a dam that created Lake Sakakawea. The high court decided the Wilkinson family, not the state, owns the oil and gas mineral rights on their 286 acres now under the Missouri River Reservoir. Renee Cooper joins us in tonight's top story. Renee, aren't there other cases just like this one? And what does this ruling mean for those landowners? Good question, Nicholas. Not only will more than $900,000 in mineral royalties accrued over a decade be returned to from the state in this case, but the Wilkinson's lawyer says the ruling will affect the outcome of several other cases and hundreds of thousands of mineral acres that are still up in the air. That's a long haul for, for a multinational corporation if they were to be fighting the government and, and for a family who is from North Dakota and has roots here to take on that fight and prevail on it. Um, just such a tremendous win for them. Josh Swanson has represented the Wilkinsons since 2014 in a lawsuit initially filed back in 2012 over mineral rights royalties the family hasn't been receiving since 2010. The state was literally rolling out the red carpet for more lawsuits and in fact they've They've now done that. Swanson is representing several other families in a similar bind with the state of North Dakota. He tells me the Wilkinson case was the first of its kind and will set precedent for the rest. Other similarly situated mineral owners should be sending them a thank you card because now with the decision in this case, all of these other mineral owners can now get paid because of this family spike. I really didn't have any expectations for it. North Dakota Land Commissioner Jody Smith says she doesn't expect the results of the Wilkinson case to have a big effect on other cases still in court. The Wilkinsons really is specifically about the property um, that was in question for them. The other case that really impacts the, the royalty owners was the Sorum lawsuit. That one is really the one that implicates the whole 83 miles along the river. It was the case that brought forth the most recent redrawing of the original Missouri Riverbed, now buried under Lake Sakakawea. You can see that line in red. Any land in yellow means the state is currently collecting royalties off of it. The Wilkinson's land that was in question is in yellow, outlined in green. But because of the brand new red line as of this year, anything in yellow that's in between the old line in green and the new red line will require reimbursement to landowners starting at the end of the month. We commonly refer to it as a wink line in our department. It affects about 600 leases and almost 50,000 acres. As for the Wilkinsons, they're not done yet. The next step for them is district court. And it could be another million dollars more in damages because not only did the Wilkinsons incur attorney's fees and costs, for the better part of the decade, they were out, they were without the, the value and the income from that production. And that number keeps going up month after month. A date should be set very soon. Swanson tells me, ironically enough, the state and oil operators deadline to transfer the initial royalties back to the Wilkinsons worth almost a million is Christmas Day. However, Smith says the money won't go directly into the Wilkinsons pockets. It's given to the oil and gas operators who leased it from the state in the first place. And Nicholas, she tells me mineral owners will have to work with those companies to get the money they're owed. Very interesting. Renee, thank you very much.